I'm Jeff Schwartz and this is our August 2021 update. Hard to believe another month's gone by. A lot of things have happened in the last month. We had our cars and coffee event here at the shop and that was a huge success. And then we did the Woodstock on the Square car show. We uh, organized it, our staff, and uh, promoted it. And we had one little minor uh, sprinkle, but it went pretty well and we had lots of turnout, raised money for Turning Point of McHenry County. And behind me here, we've got this charger and we've just fitted our uh, Mopar chassis along with our independent rear suspension. This is the first fitment of our independent suspension into a Mopar and uh, it's available on an option on all of our chassis. This is that 67 Ford F100 we talked about last month. The chassis is all done, powder coated and in the truck now and it's getting ready to ship off to California. Well, we mini tubbed this and installed the chassis and the owner should have a really fun ride. We've got more of the exterior trim on this Nova along with the latches for the convertible top and we're putting a lot of the small miscellaneous components back on the car prior to finishing it up. This Hellcat powered Monte Carlo now has the Hellcat engine painted and put back into the engine compartment and we're connecting all the little bits and pieces so we can take it for a test ride. This is that Mustang that came in from another shop. We're getting ready to uh, respray the engine bay on this one. The 69 Mustang Coupe has been giving us a little trouble with that uh, driver's side door and turns out we're going to have to put a new door on it. Uh, the aftermarket door is just sprung or something and you close it one time and everything closes nice and the next time it's like kind of twisted. So uh, unfortunately sometimes that stuff happens so we're getting ready to do that now. These are my wheels for my 1950 Studebaker. They've been painted and pinstriped and they're getting ready to go on the chassis and then the body will be going back on the chassis real soon, probably before the next video update. This is my 50 Studebaker Champion chassis. We've got it all assembled and we're just putting the exhaust system on now and then it'll be uh, getting the body shortly thereafter. We got the gas tank in the Mustang and we've also been working on the Trans Am. We have the uh, tires and forge line wheels for it now as well. A while back I showed you a Cutlass chassis that had a Hellcat engine in it. Well this is the Cutlass body with that Hellcat engine and chassis in it now. We just installed it this week and we're excited to be doing the final build on this car. We're still trying to fit the 100 pounds of bleep in the 50 pound bag here. This uh, Camaro was a six cylinder powered machine and we're fitting an LT5 ZR1 Corvette engine to it. This is that 67 Chevelle that had the rusted out chassis and floors. We've uh, obviously done all the sheet metal work and we've got the uh, powder coated nice uh, stock chassis back in it and uh, the big block is in it. Uh, the customer decided to do a sniper fuel injection, so we've got that on there, and we were waiting for quite some time. The uh, fuel tank with the pump inside was on back order, but we now have it. It just came in on Friday, and we're going forward to get this puppy running. We've got Chevy 2s here stacked up doing body work. Things are moving right along on this Mercedes. We've got the aluminum hood on here and we are fabricating the six point roll cage. Hopefully that'll be done next week. We've torn apart this 73 Monte Carlo. It came from the Southwest and it appeared pretty good, but once we got into the details, there are some rust issues we're gonna have to take care of. So anyway, uh, this will be going out probably to the dipping process and then we'll be doing rust repairs on it. We've fabricated both inner aprons on this Mustang and we're in the process of mini tubbing it right now. On this 54 Studebaker, we've fabricated the front and rear console, the rear seat, and we're in the process of getting the door gaps dialed in. This one is, uh, is dialed in, the other side is being worked on right now. That's all we got time for this month. If we missed your car, stay tuned next month because it's surely going to be on there next month. Uh, I just wanted to mention we have uh, some new t-shirts that we made up. We get three different designs like the one I'm wearing. has uh, my 1981 Trans Am, the twin turbo car that made over a thousand horse at the rear wheel. We've got the 67 Barracuda that uh, won an award at uh, 
the good guys in Scottsdale earlier this year. And then we've got the uh, 47 Hudson that uh, won the Concord de Elegance at Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin earlier this summer. So if you'd like any of those t-shirts, they're on our website. Be sure to follow us and subscribe. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next month. Thank you.